What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode here at the old number seven garage. And we're putting together an old race car. Got her back from the sand blaster and powder coated, obviously, because it didn't just get sand blasted, it got powder coated. So our last video showed you everything there was to know about this disco tangerine powder coat. Really cool looking. And on today's episode, we're gonna bolt some parts on it. Or try anyway. It left. Well, I think the first order of business would be to run to O'Reilly's. I got to grab a few things. So I'll see you at O'Reilly's. All right, y'all, we made it here to O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Let's go in there and talk to Jay and get our race car parts. Because we got to get this thing together. I come to get stuff. You got anything? I got a little bit. A lot of bit or a little bit? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Well, I need it because... Either you're gonna come and help me put this race car together or I gotta go do it myself. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll come help you. I've been bragging on the color for a month. Have you? Yeah. All right. Well, tell everybody hi, by the way. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Y'all yeah. have seen Jay before. What you got? Anything good? A box of crap. Box of crap? I don't need crap. Oh. A box full of goodies. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You got any motors in there? No motors. No motors. That stock Chevelle center link, you gotta run. Yep. Yes, sir. Moog part. That's probably an idle arm. Yep. Ooh, nice that's that's body bolts. Yep. Nice. Well, thank you, sir. No problem. And that is an open invite. I, I know you wanna come over there and show me how to build stuff. I will. Okay. And I'm, second, gonna have, I'm gonna have more time. Second Tuesday of next week? Yeah, I'm gonna have more time, though. I hear that. That's the 31st. Yes. Big things coming for Jay Watson. Yep. Well, thank you. Thanks to O'Reilly's. No problem. All right. All right, here we are back. Can you see I changed my shirt and everything? Uh, now we got all the parts we need from Jay and the gang over at O'Reilly's. We got all the oil filters, the center link, the idler arm, and especially the bolts, nuts, and U-nuts to put the body together. We can get on to jamming some stuff here. We've got a few things laid out here. We've got some Weir's machine lower control arms. We got a plus one option, standard option. I think this is actually the plus one and a standard option. And we've got some three-piece spindles from AFCO. They're actually a Speedway spindle, but I bought them straight from AFCO. And you can see Steve over at Final Finish did a nice job powder coating them babies. There ain't nothing on this car that ain't gonna be painted. No bare metal. What, what is it? What? Wait, what is it? Nothing, nothing. Center link, center link, center link, idler arm. There's only two things on this car that ain't gonna be pressed. <laughs> okay, I think the first order of business, let's take this KSE steering box. This is a six to one high speed steering box. And we also made us a trip to tractor supplies, you see, and bought some bolts. You can buy them by the pound there. So that's actually way cheaper than going to Lowe's or something like that. So, all right, now we got all of our big stuff. This is, believe it or not, almost all the bolts that really we're gonna take to put some of the car together. Some of it. That didn't even make sense. Yeah. Anyway, let's get this thing over there and jam it on the car. Speaking of machines we needed, what do you want, bud? You want, you want the little one? I, if you don't want the little one, I can give you a bigger one. I need some a little bit of torque. <laughs> well, you got this one? It don't matter. You tired of holding that yet? What about this one? It don't matter. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give you this one. Right there. And that is a 5 eighths, correct? 5 eighths. You got to feel them gears on there. Bill was anxious to see us putting the snap-on tools to work, so we definitely got to do that. So you can't even hear it operate. No. Got to give a big shout out to Mr. Bill. We met him at Fairbury. He's been to the races with us at, at Tri City, but he supplied us with all this fine snap-on tools right here: magnetic tray, sockets, all the rats that you could dream of want to talk about nice 
So, super nice. Super nice. Thank you, Bill, buddy. We appreciate you. Help us get the old KSE box stuck on there. And in the background, as you can hear, we are watching the Wild West Shootout. X Mods getting with it. Until the internet stops working, of course. Oh, I better put my hat back on. So, we're going to get this jammed on here. Once we get that going, we'll go on to something else. Good job putting that on there, buddy. Nice. All right, KSE box installed. Just so you know, because we had to look this stuff up. If you have a Chevelle stub, that is a four and a quarter or four and a half inch bolt, seven sixteenths. That'll get you going. I say we put the idler arm on, and we got some cool stuff from Weirs to put that on. I never tried it before. Let's see how that works. Uh oh. We're not getting much done here, buddy. We're doing a lot of talking about it. We talk about a lot. All right, so we got our idler arm. I'm gonna grab some trick stuff. Oh, we got the uh, yeah grease fitting. We get some a trick, two trick pieces from Weir's machine to mount this thing up and help you from losing your socket in there. All right, so here is your two pieces that I'm talking about. These go right over here, right through the frame. How many times y'all don't lost your uh, sockets down in this hole, huh? Well, not no more. I'll show you how this thing works. I think you gotta bore that hole out. Yep. So let's drill this out real quick. To whatever size that is, we'll go mic that. Dedicated monkey wrench. All right, we'll be right back. We're gonna bore some holes and watch some racing. <laughs> That's what would happen if we went there. Oh no. That's a double record deal. Not good. Alright, so we got our yeah, that. Pitman arm. We got our hogged out. That is an idler arm. 100 percent guaranteed idler arm. Now, let's try that. This goes straight through the frame. In the hole. You want to talk about a tight fit? Come on now. You know why they did it like that? How floppy and loose is that? Another? It will not be a floppy and loose. No, guaranteed. That is tight like a toilet. All right, so these stick way out now. You ain't gotta worry about it. Take a look at that. So you got your bolts coming through here now. Ain't got to worry about losing nothing. You can get a wrench on them. You drill this out. It's got a shoulder on your actual bolt. Comes through here. Supports through the frame. Straight to this. This thing is... Solid. Good. Good to go. Weir's machine. Nice job, Chad. That's a cool one. That's the first ones we've had. And I'm already liking them. What next? Want to put some spindles together? Got to do something. Okay. So we're gonna take our Speedway metric spindles. We're gonna get our bearing kits. We're gonna get greasy. We're gonna put them things together. Right now, let's do it. Oh no, look. Oh, you got the other one. I got to find out something. Right, well, I just made that montage of B. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? <laughs> All the way he's gonna be after you after that one. I'm gonna put some sexy music in there. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Yeah. Okay, so we got our spindles put together. Like I said, we had Steve powder coat these. That is a right, that is a left. 
you watch us get all nasty and get the uh, the bearings packed got the seals drove in so those are ready to slide onto here and then we've got uh, these are our AFCO it's AFCO bearing kit AFCO metric uh, rotors so this is gonna be a change for us because we usually run mm -hmm. hybrid rotors yep. which a pinto spindle with I guess a, I guess it would be a metric uh, I don't know if you say so <laughs> You know, anyway, this is now just a metric rotor. No hybrid, no fancy stuff. I'm assuming you can buy that at the parts store if you wanted to. And, uh, you know, like for a Monte Carlo or Caprice or whatever. And uh, three-piece spindles. These are now replaceable. If you bend anything on this, you can replace it. Unbolt it. Brake bracket. Check. Steering arm. Check. And just so you know, they have the sides marked on them because I tried putting the right on the left. That didn't work. No. All bolt on. Strong? You bet. All right, let's get this thing finished the rest of the way up and then move on to the next. All right, so we got these pretty much on here. And last step, not saying that it's right or wrong, but again, how we do it. We take the uh, cap, the dust cap. I'm going to jam a bunch of freaking grease in there and we'll put it in there just like that. Okay, so first step is to torque that down to bunches of foot pounds, and I'm gonna back it up. Cause we gotta have room. The, with heat, everything grows, right? Your metal. So with heat, your bearings are gonna get a little bit tighter. So you leave a little bit of room in there. It's pretty tight. Just give her a little bit of a spin. Still feels pretty good even. I'm gonna back her up just to turn. Okay, so right now I'm almost lined up with my hole with my cotter pin to go in to lock it. I'll back it up to the next available. Be right there. I may go to the next one. Right here. Put my back air racing real hard. Go back. Dismiss. Okay, we're gonna leave it right there. Oh, that's nice. You want to get even more fancy, you can put bearing spacers in here. Then that's real, real free. Check that out, that's, that's nice. Well, that's, nice. that's real nice. So we'll take the cotter pin, stick her through there, and I'll bend it just a little bit. Nothing too crazy because I'm going to probably come back in there once we uh, move it around a little bit, get weight on it and everything. We'll go through a final check. We may even just drive it around in the yard just a little bit. A final check of all of our preloads on our, well, we ain't got preloads, but all of our tightnesses of the bearings and whatnot. All right, moving right along, right in line with the brakes. We've got our dual pedal deal here. We've got our three AFCO master cylinders. We need to get that all mounted up so we can get that hung in there because we can definitely do that and knock another one off the list get on it oh something i do like about this i like that balance bar yeah it's got to just tied together i think it's going to be real neat believe it or not i've never even used a, the afco reverse mount pedals so now, now i've got some Vanna, show us what the what the contestant has won here. Okay, so we got our AFCO master cylinders bolted on the dual pedal master cylinder brake pedal assembly jobber. Now these are all one inch master cylinders, so we just threw them up there, it didn't matter. So now we've got that all done. These are all tight, that's all done. We don't really know where these need to be until we get in the car, so they're fully adjustable. Of course, you can move your pedal in and out a little bit. Let's go bolt that in there. Finalize another piece to the puzzle. I, for the three guys screaming at the screen, we fixed this. I don't know if you caught it, but that, this one and this one was touching. So we loosened them all back up and we centered them. So now our ADD and OCD yep. <laughs> are good to go. Calm down, guys. Yeah, put it in there just like that, Bubba. I must say, it feels pretty good working on this car again. What do you think? That's where I was holding one. I'm not sure. 
That's something else that's pretty cool about this car. It's got multiple holes down here to put your, uh, I put it, put it in that one. I like your thinking. That way you know it can't be any farther than that. So here's a pretty cool trick that uh, AFCO did with this. I was talking to B about this. So you remember we used to have to run like a real flat bolt up here because they would hit. They thread that one. You can run it in from the bottom. As long as your bolt's the right length, which you get a heck of a lot easier to make a bolt shorter than it is to make a head smaller. You can have that stop flush. And that thing ain't in your way no more because your balance bar will hit that when you hit the brakes. <laughs> Get her done. Hey, that one needs to be ran in a lot more to be even with that one, didn't you? I don't think so. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, all we gotta do now is just get a shorter bolt for that one. But uh, we're gonna watch this race. Got two to go. Is this B main? That's Andy Bryant, son. Andy Bryant had some tough luck the other night. He was leading it. Another guy wrecked him. Oh, and then we got a caution. All right. Another piece of the puzzle done. Not really looking like a race car yet, but hey, there's parts bolted on it. We've got parts put together. we got parts bolted on it. Let's source a... Uh, short bolt i'd say inch or less probably like three quarters we may have to saw that one down just cut her cut her down and call it good and uh <laughs> well, lots of stuff oh man check out our trunk we're gonna we're gonna keep some cool stuff back there yep back in the boot it's not aluminium though <laughs> like it ain't nothing See if OTPO can get the win tonight. Wild Bush shootout. Oh, lots of stuff going on. Uh oh. Uh oh. You don't slip up with Rodney Sanders on your heels. Come on, Tyler. All right, so we got the last bolt in here. As you see, there's the head of it down there, but this is completely flat. You see that? Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, so we mounted it from the bottom. Now that's all clear and free of any interference. And I think that's where we're gonna stop. We're gonna watch this race here and it's about 11 o'clock, so we're gonna call her good. It was early this morning getting up about 4.30, wasn't it? All right. So we're gonna root old Tyler Peterson on, see if he can win this one. We got lots of work to do to get this baby going. So we're gonna go get some rest. Hope you guys do the same and encourage you to bring an old car out of the weeds and get her going again. It's fun. Yep. Before we go, guys, I want to give a special thank you to some of our partners. That would be AFCO Racing, Weir's Machine with the cool trick parts we put on the idler arm, uh, Australian Shepherds Incorporated. They've done a great job of work today, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down for the count there, buddy. He's sleeping. Yeah, shop dogs. Yep. Uh, of course, Steve Hankins, final finish. Powder coating. And uh, yeah, we'll call it a night. So stay tuned. We'll try to get some more of the front end parts on. And we got a whole slew of stuff over there. So we've got to get her going. And I got some really cool pictures right here we're going to show you for too long. Okay, you know what I mean? So check this out. Yep. All right. We will see you guys soon. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, old Lazarus says, see you soon. On the next one.